Hello, and welcome to the Aging Answers podcast. I'm Rob Fabian with Age of Central Texas. We are the regional nonprofit organization that serves older adults and family caregivers. And every month we bring you our Aging Answers podcast to help you in your journey of being able to age successfully. Our Aging Answers podcast is brought to us by HEB because no store does more for older adults and family caregivers in Central Texas than my HEB. You know HEB for quality fresh food at low prices to help you eat well. Now, HEB has primary care physicians and dietitians on staff to help you get and stay well. And because HEB believes affordable care should be accessible to all Texans, monthly memberships and cash payment options are available. Let HEB's team of highly reputable and experienced care providers help you on your health journey. Virtual and in-office visits are available. Visit HEB.com slash wellness to learn more today. Today, our special guests for our Aging Answers podcast are Stan and Johanna from Capital City Village. Hello, guys. Hello. Hi. Good to, to be with you. And thank you so much for joining us. We're very glad that you're with us today to talk about Capital City Village. It is an important organization serving Central Texas. So let's just start off with the basic question. Tell us about your organization. Um, my name is Joanna. I'm executive uh, director of Capital City Village, and we are a local nonprofit. Uh, we were founded in 2011, and we help uh, persons that are 50 and over live independently and age in place, meaning that um, if you're in your own home, an apartment, uh, a duplex condo or townhome, and you are living um, independently, we can provide different services and programs that engage our members. We are a membership organization. And um, some of the services that we do provide our members uh, is transportation and help around uh, the home and yard, um, specifically, you know, cleanups uh, in the yard and um, different, different things in within the home that you may need changed, like um, batteries, for example, in your smoke detectors. Of course, that's very important to stay safe. Um, AC filters, different things um, within the home that come loose or uh, just, um, just stop working sometimes. <laughs> um, that includes technology. Um, we have volunteers that will help our members with um, printers that seem to become uh, disconnected while using Wi-Fi. <laughs> we know that uh, technology is a little bit iffy sometimes. So um, those are the things that we are able to help our members with. In addition to providing programming and events throughout the month, um, we do have regular monthly interest groups that are attended whether in person or online. Um, and then we have our the third leg of our stool, as we call it, um, to help members age in place is a preferred provider listing, meaning that anything that um, is a, a, a large uh, scale project, whether you need um, to make your bathroom more accessible, um, different things within the home, whether it's electric, uh, electric, electricians, or plumbers or carpenters, we have a vetted, uh, I guess, provider listing that we can make those referrals. And you know, that is so important because as we age, many of our homes were not designed for us to age successfully in them. And being able to find someone who can help us make those adjustments to our home is very important. And being able to find somebody who is reliable and has been vetted is also really a valuable resource. Yes, particularly when um, persons that are, you know, getting older are victims of fraud, sadly enough. Um, it is so much easier. And so it's a, it's a great comfort for not only the member, but their families to know that there's, some, there's you know, a plumber that's been vetted that several members have used in the past. Even roofers, um, we've had, Really, it runs off the gamut. 
And Stan um, is one of our members. He actually is our oldest member. Um, he just celebrated his 101st birthday in March. Congratulations. That's fantastic. Thank you. Well, it's just uh, been a long haul. <laughs> Many experiences over the years. Uh, I was born in a little town of Elgin, which is pretty close to here in 1922, and moved here. The family, I was the youngest member of uh, three boys and two girls, and moved to Austin in 26, and lived, lived here off and on ever since. I was, uh, but graduated from Stephen F. Austin High School when there were only two schools in town, one for the blacks and one for the whites. And I graduated in 40 and then worked at Lockheed building P-38s and uh, then went into the service and served in Italy in the Army Air Force and been here since been a member I guess 12 years now mm -hmm. uh, of this group and have gone from being a helper and a driver to being driven <laughs> and helped. So it's been a very valuable thing for me and very much appreciated. Yeah, my father actually worked for Tracor, so I'm very familiar with your line of work. So tell me, what are some of the challenges that you have had in aging in place? Because I think your experience could certainly help other people in being able to think forward on some of the things they need to be aware of. Yes, well, first of all, the, the things that are just every day, like grocery shopping, going to the drugstore and that sort of thing, or a long while I was able to do that myself. Now I need help doing that and also going to the doctor's appointments and that type of thing. And, and, and being a member is very helpful in that regard also. And then, then pleasant things like coffees, uh, we're having coffee together or lunch together and special meetings uh, with certain different groups of uh, individuals who are expert in certain types of things. And so that's been very valuable. And also just being with people and being around people and being around people who are, who are helpful and friendly and talk your language. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. You know, as, as we grow older, our journey changes and having an organization like Capital City Village that can help with those changes so that you can continue to stay independent is so important. And having those opportunities for socialization are also very important. Yes, it's been important to me, and I think uh, has extended my lifespan. Right, <laughs> lifespan because sitting in a chair looking at the ceiling is not very much fun. Socialization, being around people, which I've always enjoyed doing. I work with young people for for thirty five years, and. I enjoyed being around those young people, and I still enjoy being around people, and they're still young. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're only 60 or 70 years old, for heaven's sake. <laughs> well, you know, the uh, experts say that we internally feel like we're about 15 to 20 years younger than we are biologically. So that means you're still in your 70s and 80s. So you're good. <laughs> That's what we keep telling them. <laughs> uh, Stan is a mainstay. Uh, uh, you know, first, second, and third Thursdays, we have virtual coffee. So you can always um, join us then. Um, and you'll see Stan in his 
uh, shining face on our fourth Thursday coffee. We actually get to meet in person at Capital uh, at um, Central Market. Fantastic. So you mentioned that the Capital City Village is a membership model. Can you explain what that means? Yes, um, we have five levels of membership, um, depending on the household income for the person that is applying. Your membership dues can be anywhere between $100 a year and $600 a year for an individual. So um, it is a sliding scale uh, to make, make certain that persons of all income levels can participate in all of the benefits that the village has to offer. Excellent. And for folks who are interested in either joining as a member or finding out more information about services that are provided, how can they find you? Uh, we are on the web, capitalcityvillage.org. That's C-A-P-I-T-A-L, village, V-I-L-L-A-G. I'm sorry, capital city village uh, dot org. And um, our phone number is 512-524-2709. That is a cell phone that is um, actually ringing at me at, as we speak. Um, so um, that is um, a mobile number. We do not have a landline. Uh, we do office out of the age of Central Texas building. So you will find us on the second floor above the Adult Day Center. Wonderful. And I know you've also got some special events coming up as well. Yes. Um, I did want to share with everyone viewing that we have a very special program coming up the end of August. Um, Dr. Barbara Bergen is uh, one of the co-founders of Texas Orthopedics. Um, maybe some of us have been there once or twice in our life, um, but she uh, is a, a very good friend of the village, and she's going to be sharing some information about, you know, uh, what we can do as we age to make sure that our bones and joints are, you know, as lubricated as they can be. <laughs> and when they aren't and they, they don't cooperate with us in the morning or um, late at night, um, what we can do to help. That is, um, that is going to be offered online and in person. Our in-person opportunity is at Terrytown United Methodist Church at and 2 o'clock. And you also have a golf tournament coming up. Yes, um, to celebrate um, Healthy Aging Month, with, which is September, um, every year we have a, a um, golf tournament where several, uh, last year we hosted 22 teams of four. Um, it's something that's very fun, uh, very competitive, <laughs> and um, we, we host people from even other states. Um, friends and family that, um, you know, come from Arizona, for example, we have a couple that come from Maryland. Um, they pick this week to come and stay with their family that are still living in Austin and to participate in providing that support to Capital City Village. And then finally, you also have a fundraiser happening in November. Yes, this is our largest fundraiser. It is called Keep Aging Weird. Um, it's, it's at the Norris uh, Conference Center. It is a, a great opportunity for us at Capital City Village and our board members and our members and volunteers alike to just say thank you to everyone um, that has sponsored us throughout the year and to an opportunity to share all of those things that we've been able to accomplish in the year past, um, the number of people that have uh, been served. In fact, we have some testimonials um, from uh, coming up in November, testimonials from a mother and daughter um, to, to uh, demonstrate just the, the, the spread of our impact. It just does not Im impact the member, of course. It um, goes beyond the four walls that they live in. Um, 
And then uh, of course our volunteers, we wouldn't be able to do this without volunteers. All of the services that are provided are, are from volunteers that have been vetted, background checked and remain dedicated and active throughout the year. And you know, that is so true that services like these don't just help the older adult, but you're helping the family and the care partners as well by helping taking a little of that burden off of helping with some of the simple things that can help the older adult live longer, as Stan is a perfect example of that, and live better. Absolutely. Um, what I like to call when I onboard volunteers, um, what I call the presentation is a journey from strangers to friends. And that truly is the experience for, um, I think, any member or volunteer or friend of the village is that, um, you know, one of, secret, one of the secrets of Stan's longevity is having those close relationships and being able to call upon someone like last week when Stan was not feeling so well, um, to know that they have someone that can help them um, and check on them. And mm -hmm. to know that you're cared for means a lot. We always talk with caregivers about as in your caregiving journey, you need to create your village around you, of uh, those who your support system, so that if something happens that you can't go to the grocery store, you know, you can ask someone, do you mind running to the HEB for me? Or can you help me with this? And this is exactly the same wonderful model, which is creating that village around you of your support, because so many of us are aging without family and friends near us. And having our own family that we create is always so important. Stan, I wanted to ask you, as we close, what is your advice for someone that wants to live to be 100 years old? What is, what is your secret sauce? Oh, uh, well, it's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 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 genetics, of course, uh, our family uh, lives a long time, except for one item, cancer. <laughs> and we've had three members die in the 60s of cancer. And so other than that, uh, you know, try, try to be social with as many people as you can Never isolate yourself. Never sit alone. Never, never depend on only yourself to live each day and enjoy life with others. Well, you know, the other members of Capital City Village are very lucky to have you as their role model. <laughs> well, th thank you. Uh, Hope I maintain that. <laughs> <laughs> As we all do. And Joanna, thank you so very much for all the information about Capital City Village. It is such an important organization serving our older adults here in Central Texas. Yes, please call us. Um, I, Like I said, 512-524-2709. Thank you very much. And thank you guys so much for joining us. And thank you for watching our Aging Answers podcast. We bring you our podcast every month with experts and information about being able to age successfully. So we hope that you have a wonderful day and you can always watch all of our past episodes right here on our YouTube channel. We hope you have a great day and we will see you next month. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.